But getting back to this game that I never left. Man, I appreciate you guys for being with me, man. Man, thank you, man. You up early in the morning? You know what I mean? Fucking with this pimping, man. Man, I appreciate your big head there. Because you could have been anywhere else. But you're here. And I appreciate that. Hit that like button right now. Let's get them notifications out there. I know it's top of the morning where a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all sleep, snore. A lot of y'all won't even get to see this video. You're going to be looking at it like, damn, I wish I could have seen this live. Young people already know. They already know it seems they seen boyfriend pimping. Even though there's no such thing as boyfriend pimping. You either a boyfriend that's professing to be a pimp or you're actually a real pimp. But pimps are not boyfriends. And that's what I'm getting ready to talk about today. Share this video. You know what I mean? Because it might be some square or some little promiscuous, little big head bra that's just giving up her pussy to the community for no currency. And she ain't even putting up a discrepancy about it. You know what I'm saying? But once she gets this uncommon information, she might start charging them the accumulation. You know what I mean? That accumulation to get charged once she get the right, you know, information coming from the right representation. And you might just be that right representation. So by all means, hit the like button. YouTube don't push my content like everybody else. And just being real, not to be arrogant, my content is better than everybody else. You know, for a little while now, the ladies have been saying it. And I spoke to this young lady today. You know what I mean? She's a stripper. Um, I'm not going to say her name, but she's a stripper. She very attractive, you know, got a nice little following on IG. And uh, we spoke this morning and I had to keep correcting her because she kept on saying boyfriend pimping, boyfriend pimping. I said, what? I said, well, you want, you know, male representation of the game. What's hindering you from having a man preside over you in the lifestyle? What's wrong? You know what I mean? Why is it that, you know what I mean, you by yourself? She said, well, I would be with somebody, but it's so many boyfriend pimps, boyfriend pimps. I mean, she just kept saying it. And this ain't the first time I've heard it because anybody that have interviews quite often or consultations or whatever, if you speak into hoes, strippers, women inside of the sex industry, they commonly, is it's just common nowadays for them to say boyfriend pimps. And I got a problem with that. Because they shouldn't be using boyfriend pimps when it comes to this game. Because you either a pimp or you a boyfriend. But due to the fact of a lot of things that you guys are saying and what you guys are doing, that's why she sees you as a boyfriend. Because nigga, you are. And that's exactly why she sees you of what you are. You represent yourself like a boyfriend. So she sees you as a boyfriend. We're going to talk tonight because there's so many things that's being said and done by these no pimping, having ass niggas that be on social media, don't got a pimp bone in their body, but they keep talking about this pimping, talking about pimping and no pimping cross country has ever seen them. Ain't been on no blades, ain't rubbed shoulders with nobody, but they want to tell you, you know how to do it, and you know it's okay to have the interview uh, meth, the interview powder, the interview head, the interview dick, you know what I mean? As you see the thumbnail, that's what a lot of these individuals are into with these bras. So, of course, it's hard for a broad when you're doing Netflix and chill with her. One minute y'all laying down and you're watching Love Jones and you're watching Love and Basketball with her. She laid up uh, with you, snuggled up. Y'all all snuggled up together. You know what I mean? You're kissing and, you know, tongue kissing and thing. I'm not saying you can't kiss your hoe. She is a woman if that's what you desire to do. Don't mistake my words. But I want you to understand that a lot of you call these women f but... They are what you create. Who produces hoes? Pimps. Who produces f***s? Non-pimps. No pimping. 
It's just too much boyfriend shit going on. And individuals is complaining about the women not doing this and the women doing this and the women not doing this. And she's a f again. The way that the game used to be. You niggas be crying. You motherfuckers be crying on social media. You cry in real life. I be on the blades. So I know the conversations. You know what I mean? I was somewhere not too long ago. So I know what I'm saying is, is current. You know what I mean? It's too much of that going on. You just come to the blade pretending to be one way. You talk one way. You present yourself to be one way. But when you not on the blade, when you not, you understand me, around other pimps, and you're no longer putting on an Oscar Award performance, and when you're around that bitch by yourself, now, all of a sudden, your tone is different. Your spirit is different. You know, you don't really be saying, you know what I mean, the things that you were saying. You, you don't speak with that authority when y'all by yourself. That's why when you be talking the way you talk over the phone, when she on the blade or wherever she is, she must she think in her mind like he must be around somebody. And some of you niggas have actually heard that. That should have sat up there and told you right there. Anytime a bitch tell you, oh, you must be around your partners or you must be around somebody, that means that the way that you conduct yourself when you're around your partners, you know what I mean? When you're sitting over there, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, these bitches, man, you know what I mean? Be acting crazy and shit. You know what I mean? Here they go, bitch, blowing up my motherfucking phone now. I don't even feel like answering shit, but I'm going to answer. You know what I mean? Hello? You got it? Okay, that's all I need to hear. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, back to this pimping though. You niggas really put on a show when you be on the blade, man. You niggas put on the best Oscar award performances that a pimp ever seen when you outside, man. But boy, oh boy, when you with that woman by yourself, when you with that woman by yourself, you don't be, you understand me, walking in the spirit of pimping. You on some Netflix, you Netflix and chill to pee. You know what I'm saying? You one of them, uh, if I kiss you there, I kiss you there. Kiss me and I kiss you there. You one of them niggas. Come on, man. That you know what type of niggas that you is, man. You conduct yourself, you know what I mean, one way. And you sit up there and pop your collar and you on some sugar-free shit when, you know, you're in the car on your way, but... When y'all by yourself, man, you be on some other shit, man, that ain't got nothing to do with this pimping, man. You be in them feelings. That's what you be in. You know what I mean? And by you presenting yourself to be a boyfriend and doing all this boyfriend, love and basketball, love Jones, Sleepless in Seattle, Harry Met Sally, Jamie Foxx singing the wedding song to the bitch. Uh, by you being on that type of shit alone, that's why the be in her feelings. That's why she be in the feelings. You put her in there. Boot up. Yeah, you put her in a boot up. You know what I mean? She don't feel like hoeing up or hold up. She feel booed up because you created that type of atmosphere. You gave her that type of spirit with the things that you say and do. You conduct yourself like a boyfriend, and she conducts herself like a girlfriend, like she's supposed to, because you her boo. That's why when you be calling her bitches and, you know, uh, really talking hard and all of that over the phone when you're around your partners, she don't know what you on, because you was just eating ass not too long ago. You was just sucking toes not too long ago. You was just sitting over there raw dogging and in her ear, you know what I mean, telling her that, you know, she the best thing that ever happened to you while you were sucking on her ear and had the dick inside. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You the one had that R. Kelly playing and shit. You know what I mean? Imagine that, imagine that, imagine that. You had that plan doing what she was doing. Come on. We can do it anywhere. You had that plan. You know what I mean? So why did you, why was you looking funny when the 
started acting like, you know, what you made her to be, a girlfriend. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.